Did you see that? Many of you are not subscribed. Well, I don't blame you. I mean, last video, four months ago, the one before, six months. Okay, I, I wouldn't call this consistency, okay? But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. In the previous videos, many centuries ago, we've done many things. Like the first creature of the game, we have created Gerald, who is supposed to be a drone companion helping you out, someone you have to take care of, as I clearly do. Did you have a good time when I wasn't here? Well, I'm sorry, but everything comes to an end. After making sure that Gerald was fine, we can start with this video. If you remember, our goal is to have a trailer. Now, if you look at some trailers from some open world games, we can tell that maybe 80% of the videos, uh, it's basically showing landscape in the background. So that's like really important. So what is a landscape made of? I would say chunks of terrain, cliffs, ravines, rocks, canyons, mountains, and so forth. So I've already done a devlog about terrain chunks, but if you remember I was sculpting them manually, which was not ideal if I want to have like different terrain chunks to mix up together to create different islands. So I decided to move to proxedural generated rocks. But before jumping into that, uh, there is something that I wanted to take care of for so long. Two items. You can see that pretty much every object in this game got a style, a similar style or color palette, except for these two boys. Wait, what is this one? I, I didn't do a gun. Oh, it's the rangefinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember this. You point it to an island and you get the distance from it. Yeah. I don't I don't know if this will be useful. I hope so. I hope someone will use it. But I don't know. It's up to you. So I was saying everything got the same style except for these two boys. So it's time to rework them. Uh, let's start from the binocular. Um, back to modeling. Hell, I missed this place. So many good memories. That's a lie. I didn't miss any part of it. But let's see if I still know how to do it. Uh, how to model pretending I knew before. <laughs> All right, uh, I would say mirror modifier, some baffles, some extrudings, a little bit of rage quitting, and we have a model. This is the result. A totally original model. I see nothing similar to this one. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know what you guys are talking about. They're just two different things, completely different. Yeah, they are. Let's give it some color and jump into Unity. And it seems all good to me, at least for sure better than the old one. I, would, I wouldn't call it a good model, but we are close. For the flashlight thing, I said, um, wait, we do this to light places that are dark, to see what you're doing, right? But if you're doing something, you have something in your hands that is supposedly not a flashlight. I mean, I have two hands technically, and I can create a, a slot for the, the second hand. But for some reasons, definitely not correlated to laziness and inspired by electrified suggestion during a live streaming, I decided to create a headlamp instead. I started modeling it, then I realized that this thing physically doesn't stick to your head. So I added another top part and uh, with some more pro modeling moves, we got it done. As usual, we use the same colors and adding some glow to the lighting parts makes it less weird, um, <laughs> or maybe not. And I know it doesn't look like a headlamp and it seems more like a mix between the internal part of a protective helmet and some sunglasses, but you know what? I'm good with it and, and, I, and I will keep it, okay? I will keep it. Okay, I promised you to see some proxedural rocks. Of course, my blender skills don't allow me to come up with my own solution. So I found this YouTube channel who shows how to create stylized rocks, and I really liked it. Uh, but my game is low poly, so I rearranged the modifiers. Uh, and when I say rearranged, I mean tweaking random values to see what happens and wait until I get something decent. So I ended up with this stack of modifiers. Uh, I have no clue on what was the process that led me to have this result, <laughs> but it seems okay. And the cool thing about this approach is that I can now create a simple shape and apply the modifiers on just some faces. It's based on a grayscale map, so the same shape can have different rocks formation if placed in different spots. And I could also use it to create whole islands. Talking about landscapes, uh, I'm focusing on making some ravines uh, and canyons and mountains. So yeah, this is some of them. I don't want to bore you with the modeling part, but yeah, I'm going to include some of them in the trailer and uh, and see how to place rugs uh, procedurally after that. All right, uh, I'm totally not stretching this video because I realize it's lacking minutes and content, pretty much like every video on this channel. But I just wanted to say a few words about the future of the channel and, and the game. So the title of this video is I'm back, which is true. If you're in the Discord server, you might have known that I had a lot of university stuff going on, but now I've finished most of them and I can be back working on the game finally. So 
I mean, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And also, I appreciate you and your patience. And thank you for still watching my stupid videos. Nani? And yeah, um, I'll see you. <laughs> Take care.